Hey guys, today I'm going to be repotting my Golden Goddess Philodendron, another great repot video, and actually, I don't know if you guys ever do this, but the pot that it's currently in, it's only been like this for a few days because I actually had to steal the pot that I was in for something else, so this is kind of like an urgent repot. In this video, I'm also going to be sharing all of the crucial care tips for your Philodendron Golden Goddess, uh, as well as all of the details surrounding the soil mix, and uh, yeah, stick around for all that, plus a whole bunch more. All right guys, I absolutely love my philodendron golden goddess. This thing is growing like a weed, which is completely amazing. It just, it just keeps on growing, keeps on giving. Now, if you saw uh, my favorite or best houseplants for 2021, you know that this plant right here was my number one choice. I'm gonna throw up a link to that video right up here if you haven't yet seen it. It was uh, basically, I broke down all of my favorite uh, houseplants, I, my favorite 10 for 2021. Coming into this next year, I'm really excited to see what this plant can do, how much more it can grow. So uh, of course, I'm really excited to repot this guy, create a little new um, bit of a trellis system, support system for all of this vining foliage, which is awesome in the lemon lime color. I just absolutely adore this plant right here. So yeah, let's jump right into all of that. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler, and if you like what you're seeing or you find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, or better yet, you can subscribe to my channel. Now, my merch store is live. There are many unique and custom designed products there that you have to check out. It's a great way to support me and support this channel. Also, uh, to show some love, you can click on the bell for alerts and uh, notifications for future content. Before jumping into all of the crucial care details and care plans for the Philodendron Golden Goddess, let's uh, start with repotting this plant. Now, I have not a lot to say about the current uh, container that it's in. Like I said, it's only been in here for a handful of days. I had to repurpose the pot that it was uh, originally in. But uh, let's talk about this new container here. It's only a slightly larger in diameter. It has, uh, you know, it's made of terracotta. It's got drainage. It has a little saucer for any excess water. Um, it should work really, really well. Now, uh, when I originally uh, potted this plant up, I had read online that the Golden Goddess appreciates a little bit more of an acidic soil mix. Um, so I had kind of gone heavy in on the peat moss, but uh, let me get some stuff mixed up for you and that way I can break down the different ratios and components of the soil mix that I'm going to be using today. All right, so with, like with any uh, philodendron, aeration and drainage are key and critical to soil composition. Uh, now with this mix for the Golden Goddess, I've gone ahead and used about six parts of peat moss to three parts of a, sort of a fine and medium coarse uh, bark. And then I did go ahead and add about one part uh, cocoa coir and one part perlite. Now, this is a little bit different than my typical philodendron mix, and that is because of the uh, acidity level that I'm trying to create a, a little bit more acidic uh, and acidity in this soil mix for the golden goddess. Adding leca to the base of the container is great for added drainage. This way, no uh, roots or the root system aren't sitting in any excess water. Before uh, transplanting over my golden goddess philodendron into its new container, I do need to go ahead and create and build out my uh, little support system, my little trellis, and I'm gonna do that using some two foot bamboo stakes uh, along with uh, some florist's wire and I've got some uh, Velcro product uh, as well that I'm going to use. So I'm going to dismantle uh, the current stakes, um, add some more uh, to it, make maybe kind of like a T structure or something like that, get that kind of organized first, and then, uh, then I'll be able to transplant. So let's go ahead and get this trellis built. All right, so a little update here. The um, florist wire was doing me absolutely no uh, favors 
So I've opted uh, to take uh, these four bamboo stakes uh, that are each two foot and then just kind of like put them together using this Velcro stuff and then that way I'm getting a little bit more of uh, a taller um, structure and I'm going to kind of keep these separate. I was thinking I might do some more of a T structure and kind of use them all together but this is where I've ended up at the moment and I'll definitely have to pick up some uh, new taller stakes but for the time being this will work just great. All right, so it's in there, it's good to go. The stakes feel nice and steady and in place. Now I'm just gonna spend the next couple of seconds just kind of picking some of these branches and kind of just tying them up and getting this thing, just vining up these two stakes. So that's really easy. I'm gonna be using uh, more of this Velcro tape stuff um, and just, you know, bear with me as I take this huge monster and, uh, try to get it going up these stakes. So, very carefully, uh, of course, and I'm just gonna start uh, a little bit lower and work my way up. All right, wow, this thing is looking a lot bigger now that it's in its new container. Um, I've chosen to stake up uh, two of the th uh, three vines, really. So one has been left uh, kind of to its own devices dangling, which is kind of cool, and that kind of might influence where uh, I'm gonna put it, so stay tuned for that. But uh, in order to place this plant somewhere, you kind of gotta know uh, what light it likes and I'm gonna jump into those crucial care tips now so lighting watering fertilization and all that jazz now in terms of lighting you're going to want to provide a really good moderate amount of bright and direct light for the golden goddess so keeping this somewhere uh, close to a window but inset where it's going to get a lot of that great moderate bright and direct light like I mentioned do be aware that these guys don't love direct sunlight that can do some damage to the foliage in terms of watering you're going to want to water uh, these plants uh, once the topsoil has dried out to the touch and uh, fertilization is key during the growing season don't hesitate to use a well-balanced liquid diluted fertilizer and uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? It's looking very different with these taller stakes in it. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Check out the merch store. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.